Good morning from Africa Tech Week 2025. I'm here together with Tebogo Lishope, CEO at Centec. Hello, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. How are you doing? I hope you're enjoying the session. Oh, it's very nice, very nice. Unfortunately, the weather is not the most beautiful for Cape Town, but the sessions are nice. Thank yes. you. No, indeed, the ideas and the conversations here will keep you warm. That's for sure, that's for sure. Uh, you had a very interesting uh, opening speech, and you said connecting South Africa, empowering Africa. So how important are such gatherings like the Africa Tech Week to really bring that into a real-life scenario? Yes. Look, Africa Tech Week is an event where ideas meets opportunity and uh, execution uh, also uh, meets opportunity. And it is our strong view that uh, these ideas, when worked on through a collaboration approach and with the customer in mind, its sustainability will enjoy a much longer tenure than some solutions that are built in isolations. And uh, we very much also I reflect uh, on this, uh, that the impact of uh, Africa tech technology will go beyond the conversations today. We are very much aware of what uh, exposing human to technology does to their development. Yeah. A child that you give access to technology and devices, their development as human, True. it's a lot faster than uh, a child who is in isolation from those particular capability. So it is our strong view and our push through the Africa Tech Week that we actually drive the ideation process, the thought leadership around technology development, the uh, 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 adoption of key models that are going to make sure that these solutions are sustainable and adopted in a manner that uh, can go far beyond from an impact of uh, human uh, social development. All right. So without digital infrastructure, there are no digital services, there is no connectivity. How can we ensure connectivity and digital literacy and digital inclusion even throughout the rural and semi-rural areas? Yes. We have to first drive building the core and the base uh, of infrastructure and connectivity. Yeah. So that is where you see Acentec uh, driving connectivity through the South Africa Connect project, uh, those capabilities of fixed wireless uh, technologies in those uh, rural areas. We are ensuring that a base network and connectivity is there, yeah. where after we will overlay the services uh, to make sure that education and any other social enhancement activities be transaction on a platform are realized through this capability. But you are right. The key focus should be ensuring that infrastructure that connects people is available and reaches uh, the people to create access first. Once the access is there, then we can take uh, and overlay services on the connectivity that is made available. So how do you see AI affecting this process, the connectivity or digital infrastructure process? Can it help to accelerate certain vertical, certain areas? Oh yes, by all means. I mean, AI algorithms give you an advantage of efficiency outright. Mm -hmm. You know, using human interventions becomes a little bit more lesser. We can use our human capability and talent in a much more smarter way. You know, people that are doing monotonous activities can be released to now go and do creative things. Yeah. What we're talking about here today, as opposed to doing repetitive uh, activities in that regard. So we're seeing it actually helping to exponentially drive the growth in a manner that the human capacity that we have will be assisted by AI capability. You know, running application becomes quite easier, analytics uh, yeah. becomes quite easier on the platform. You don't have to have somebody uh, doing the analytics on a manual basis to determine how much bandwidth uh, was utilized and what the market uh, concentrations are looking like. Your reports are just popping out there. So it's operational efficiency from where we are seated. It's uh, immense and it's going to impact and assist us to drive the proliferation of uh, a digital access and connectivity going forward. All right, thank you. You mentioned earlier, we are here to shape the future of South Africa. What starts here doesn't end here. So where do you see the future of South Africa? We envision a connected society. That is the future that we are seeing. Uh, we are envisioning a connected uh, 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 machines throughout the countries 
where Internet of Things is the thing of the future. Uh, the uh, 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 automated vehicles are the future that is coming. We need connectivity to be, uh, the capacity to be sufficient to be able to drive autonomous vehicles and make also visibility, the intelligence uh, should also be here. So we're looking very much on enabling intelligent connectivity uh, going forward that uh, allows for human-to-human -human communications, machine-to-machine -machine communications, a totally connected society. Once that is realized, the efficiency of operating, accessing services will be at its greatest level. So that's what we are envisioning. Those communities that may be left out due to infrastructure access challenges, we want them included. And uh, those communities that may be connected, we want them to be on a different level as well. And to have an inclusive uh, society that is connected will be instrumental in driving the economic growth as well. Throughout Africa, the conversations about LEO broadband connectivity is really gaining traction. Even the latest announcement for South Africa through several conversations with Starlings. What is your positioning on LEO for South Africa? Yeah. As a technology phase, LEOs are the new wave now. And uh, we, we don't want to miss out on LEOs. Uh, we, we, we do believe that LEOs should come in and be part of the products and benefits of South Africa. And uh, obviously, we do have a view on how they should come in on a partnership model with the current economy to make sure that we preserve the existing economy and working with the LEO providers. Yeah. So it's more about to find the right foundation of a partnership to opening up markets for LEOs? Yes, that's more or less how we are, we are looking at it. Uh, and LEOs has a critical role to play, yeah. And uh, uh, you would have realized that uh, as technology evolves, you also need to shift to the next uh, capabilities as a developing and a creative uh, business and a country. So definitely Leos have a role to play and we believe we have to ride this wave and you know, this opportunity yeah, as a country. Perfect. Thank you very much. Thanks for your time. My pleasure. Okay. That was Tech Africa News from Africa Tech Week 2025. You can find more on techafricanews.com.